Welcome to Wakita, Oklahoma, where today we're gonna go on our next adventure. Now, if you are a movie buff like I am, I remember this movie called Twister. <laughs> It was amazing. I'm just saying it was awesome. The reality is that this particular area of Oklahoma is Tornado Alley and so what better place to video and record a movie than right here in the downtown area. We're stopping by today and checking out the Twister Movie Museum. Ah! So I'm really excited to check this out and see all of the fun that there is inside. Some memorabilia, some things like that. So uh, let's just go. going inside. Oh, where it is definitely cooler than it is outside. <laughs> I am especially drawn to this because when researching this particular place, this was one of the coolest things that I had seen. So Bill Paxton passed away and he was of course a pivotal point in the movie Twister. So he did so much for the movie that they actually had real life storm chasers go out and create this awesome tribute to Bill Paxton using their GPS coordinates, which is just so cool. So I'm gonna zoom in and let you see where all they were located to do this, but this is just really cool. And then keeping with the movie theme, of course, there has to be a Dorothy. Like, there has to be. Did you know that Dorothy was actually based off of a real life thing called the Toto Project? It really was. So, not all movies take things that aren't completely existent and turn them into existence. But this is pretty cool. And, and uh, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. And last but not least, before we actually move inside, inside, just a little bit more cool stuff. All this was used in the movie. Just saying. I am so giddy right now, so let's move. Inside the museum, you'll find a couple of different things that are extremely special to the community. This, a football autographed by many in the cast, and then this, a pinball machine, both gifted to the museum by Bill Paxton himself. He remained an active part of the Wakita community even after the movie. Okay guys, this is a small but awesome little gym. So there is tons of information about the movie. There are shirts all around from different storm chasing groups. And you have to come in and check it out. It's just really, really neat. I love the fact that it kind of documents not only the movie, but also Bill Paxton and the Twisters in general. It's just fun. also have some fan art from the different people who've come in and I'm gonna show you these because these are just really cute. This entire table right here has tons of photos from the different overhead and straight on views of all the different things that were going on here in Wakita. While this was not the only film location it was obviously one of the best ones just saying because there was so much cool stuff that they did here. And then there was a special premiere for the people of Wakita, but also for Oklahoma in general. That was held in Oklahoma City and was a benefit to the Red Cross because the year that this was filmed 
was the same year as the Oklahoma City bombing. Yeah. Now, if this downtown does not look anything like you recall in the movie, it is because they did actually demolish and refurbish buildings for the filming. So if you are ever in Oklahoma, this is a cool stop off. You have to come. The Movie Museum for Twister in Wakita. Now I think before we go, I think I'm gonna go find Aunt Meg's house. Let's see what it looks like today. was a different kind of nightmare on Elm Street, to say the least. Let's just say the houses in this area, in the movie, <laughs> did not make it. Uh, it looks like a storm is brewing, and after going to the museum, I am not about it today. So let's get out of here, because I'm not trying to be in a twister. Thanks for checking out today's video and uh, stay safe, YouTuber.